the G center. The G center is the gold diamond in the middle of the chart. And if you have it defined, it means you have a defined way of being in the world, a defined way of ex uh, expressing yourself or being yourself. It's the center of self and self-love and direction in the world. And if you have it defined, it's not like you're thinking about these things, it's just there, you know? I mean, for me, you know, in particular, I have my intuition connected to my direction. So each time I, exp I operate out of my body mechanic, out of my aura and my inner authority, myself is being um, displayed authentically in the world. You know, it's come, just coming out, it's just me. This is how it is, this is, this is what you get. And, um, but potentially the other side of that is, um, somebody that could have this defined G and they could have certain behaviors or certain ways of expressing love and they could pressure you with that. You know, that would be the dark side of having a defined G and not operating properly. You know, if um, I wasn't where I'm at in my experiment, it would be easy for me to pressure somebody with, hey, this is the right direction for you. You know, this is how we should do it. You should behave like this. You know, I have a defined way of behavior. It's just there. It's, it's defined. And I have a defined way of finding love in myself in this life. And that's not um, open to conditioning from the outside world, it's defined. That's what it means to have a center fixed. Um, so if you have the defined G center, that means you have a defined direct way of uh, expressing yourself, finding yourself, and showing love or receiving love in this life, it's fixed. If you've got the open G center, it means those are your questions. You know, it's uh, really unfortunate to, to, to watch somebody with the Open G Center. I have a great friend that was a kite surfer, and uh, he had the Open G Center. He was new to uh, human design, and he uh, confided in me one day that one of the things he would just sit around and ask himself is, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? And it would just be like this haunting thing that had haunted him for, you know, 35, 36 years or something, you know, and... Uh, and when we, we had the talk, you know, we sat down and we talked about his human design and he saw it and he goes, oh my God, that has been the question in my head since I can remember. You know, who am I? What am I supposed to do? What's my direction in life? And the, the answer, if you've got the open G, is you're none of it. You know, you don't have a defined identity. You don't need to be like this or that. You're not, you know, so-and-so the doctor, you're not so-and-so the surfer, you're not so-and-so the mechanic or the teacher. You're just like a chameleon. You float through different environments, and that's why it's really important to understand your aura and your aura mechanics and know your inner authority because then when you're in the right place, you're with the right people. You're bringing the right reflection, you get the right love that you're here to reflect back, um, and it's a really beautiful thing. I mean, the open G is one of those, it's, uh, you know, I think it's interesting to be the open G, to not have a defined identity, you know, to be able to slide through crowds and, and be totally different, you know, over here you're red, but over there you're green. I mean, that's kind of a cool thing, you know, and not to worry about thinking that you need to figure out love or direction in this life. You know, because again, if it's open, it's speaking in your head, that's what you're hearing, this is your demon, you know, who am I, how do I do this, where, where am I going in this life, and the answer is, you're going into your body, you're learning about your aura mechanic, and you're figuring out how your inner authority works so you can make decisions for yourself. It doesn't mean there's no you there, you're totally there, of course you are, you're watching this tape. It just means that you don't have a defined self, so you're not fixed in that way, you know, you're open. That's what it means to have the open G. You know, I think it's cool. You know, enjoy it. And when you're with the right people, you know, if you're in my life and you have the open G, it just means that, hey, you dig my trip. You like the you you like reflecting back to me my trip, you know, and that's why it's cool. It's like you go without her, you like their trip, you know, you reflect it back. You get to take on that love for a while and that sense of direction. And then you're with someone else. Yeah, you get a different flavor. You know, it's not fixed in you. So yeah. Enjoy it. It's a it's a cool one.